is Jones Road Beauty the next makeup line for the best no makeup makeup? <laughs> Let's find out. Hey everyone, I'm Becca and I'm a licensed cosmetologist and I make accessible hair and beauty content. If you're coming back, thank you so much. And welcome to those of you who are new. If you are here because you keep getting ads just like I did for Bobbi Brown's new makeup line that claims to be the ultimate line for no makeup makeup, then you've come to the right place. Before we get into this, dare I say, juicy, review, <laughs> would you consider subscribing and pressing the bell so you know when I post new videos just like this one? If you wanna skip right to the review, no judgment, <laughs> you can go here. If you find the timestamps helpful, leave a comment saying thanks for the timestamp <laughs> so I know to keep adding them to the videos. Okay, let me set the stage for you. There I was, binging Bobbi Brown's masterclass on makeup. I have to admit, I have never used Bobbi Brown Cosmetics, which is owned by Estee Lauder, and honestly, I didn't really know much about her as a person. I mean, obviously I've heard her name around, but I'm more in the hair world than the makeup world. So when I started watching this masterclass, I fell in love with her philosophy on makeup. Her very condensed philosophy about makeup is enhancing your natural beauty. There's no need to change anything about you. You're beautiful just the way you are, and I really connected with that message. Don't you connect with that? <laughs> Press the like button if you feel the same. I'm perfect just the way I am. <laughs> because the point of makeup is to enhance your beauty and help you feel good about yourself, not change and hide the things that you wish were different. And I love that she stands for that. That's just great. Okay, before you click away, because I'm not necessarily a makeup artist, I am a lifelong makeup lover. <laughs> I used to shop the markdown racks with my mom at Target like every Friday because we couldn't afford nice makeup and we would just pray to God that there was a markdown foundation that matched our skin tones. I started wearing makeup in the sixth grade. Don't judge me. I was like doing whatever the cool people were doing or something like that. I don't know. So that's almost 20 years of wearing makeup. And I'm also using makeup in a super practical way as a mom of two. <laughs> and I also wear different kinds of makeup for YouTube videos. After watching her masterclass, I was hooked. Hooked on Bobby. <laughs> it's weird. Anyway, I looked up the product she was using in her masterclass, hence my discovery and probably why I keep getting ads for Jones Road Beauty. In some ways, I feel like this makeup was made for someone like me. Listen, I'm 31 and I'm proud of it, okay? Every year's a blessing. No, I do not have flawless filtered skin. I also don't have thousands of dollars to spend on a skincare routine. I have large pores, I sweat, I have eczema, I have children, <laughs> and I feel like she was targeting someone like me. I want makeup with clean ingredients. I want to feel awake and refreshed. <laughs> I don't wanna spend a lot of time on my morning routine. I don't have a lot of time to spend on it. And I don't wanna change how I look. I just want to enhance what I have. And that's how I believe Jones Road Beauty was born and why I was so intrigued to try it and why you're probably still watching this video. <laughs> Cause that's you too. And if you're anything like me, when you saw the price of these products, you came straight to YouTube <laughs> to see people's honest review of this product. And honestly, I didn't really find any of the other videos super helpful. So I thought I'd make my own review video. <laughs> so thank you for watching. Let's get to the review. Just a disclaimer, this face of makeup only is utilizing one of the Jones Road Beauty products, but in the B-roll, I will be using all of her products just so you know what those products look like on my face. I use different makeup for filming because when you film YouTube videos, you just have to wear different kinds of makeup <laughs> because super glossy, like dewy kind of makeup doesn't always look good on camera with someone with large pores, so I wear a lot more powder makeup when I'm filming, but for everyday makeup, I do wear a little bit more dewy, which is why I wanted to try the Jones Road because it is more glowy, more natural, and yeah. All right, let's get to the review. 
first, I'll go over quickly what I bought and how much I spent. Second, I'll give you my first impressions. Third, I'll tell you what products I still use and what products I returned. And finally, I'll tell you my honest opinion of these products. Okay, first, what I bought was four <laughs> Miracle Bombs in four different shades, three face pencils in different shades, two eyeliners, and the face cream. I struggled to decide what colors I wanted because what the test was saying that you take on their website and what I felt like I was gonna like based on Instagram posts and other videos were completely different. I spent $273, which is a lot but not necessarily for a clean makeup line. I also knew I probably would be sending some of the shades back that didn't match or I didn't like, so I was okay spending that. Secondly, my first impressions of the products were good, but not great. <laughs> I did a short with my first impressions. I'll make sure to link that below. The packaging was cool and simple and black and white, my jam. These products themselves seemed quite simple. The Miracle Bomb comes with instructions though. You have to break the seal in order to activate the color. So if I didn't know that, <laughs> I definitely would have hated them because there's no pigment without breaking the seal. You have to break the seal. One thing I'd wish they would do is have the name on the front of the packaging because when you are going to pick it up out of your kit, you have to flip it over. <laughs> That's where the name of the product is, the name of the color, and it's just kind of annoying. <laughs> the thing I was most curious about was the texture of the Miracle Bomb and the face cream. I would bet money <laughs> that these products are mainly made with petroleum jelly, the main ingredient that's um, in Vaseline. The texture is like a crossover of Vaseline and like hardened coconut oil. <laughs> that's the closest thing I can think of to compare it to. So it's not what I was expecting, but honestly, I'm not sure what I was expecting. <laughs> I'm really surprised that no other reviews have mentioned that as the texture of the products. It's honestly heavier than I like my makeup product to be. And as I was wearing them for the first time, I felt like I had Vaseline on my face. And that's not necessarily a great thing. If I use the Sun Kissed for a bronzer and then like the Flushed or the Dusty Rose for a blush, my hair <laughs> gets so stuck to it. It's almost like, when your hair gets stuck to your lip gloss on your lips, this is getting, my hair is getting caught in this stuff when it's on my cheeks. It's taken me a few tries to figure out how this product fits into my daily routine. And I think that's the hardest part about it. But that's the difference between the Dusty Rose and the Flushed. I thought I was gonna want more pigment, like in the Flush, which is why I bought both. And I do, I like the Flush better as a blush. Um, but again, it's just it's just heavier than I would like in a blush, and I feel like it it sh it enhances my pores more than I would like it to. It's so unique and different. People just don't know what to do with it. The face pencil was really nice right off the bat, super buttery. But in some of the other reviews, they were saying they used the Miracle Balm first to help with hydration or the pencil would be too heavy and drag on the skin. And I found the opposite to be true. The pencil when applied over the face cream or the Miracle Balm didn't have like any coverage and it was way too slippery. I was happier when I just applied the face pencil to my skin before the Miracle Bomb. So I got three shades. I got shade two, six, and eight. They were actually out of the other shade that they recommended for me and the two has been the one that I go to most. It's gonna be different on my hand than it is on my face, but you'll get the idea. So there's the two. It's really nice and creamy, but I just don't feel like it lasts very long. Here's the eight, and the eight I feel like actually is darker than the six, and that's maybe because it has a little bit more. That's the six. This coverage still isn't great. <laughs> maybe I didn't get the right shades, but I want more coverage overall. Um, I could see this working for someone that has a more even skin tone, that has maybe some dark circles under their eyes that they're trying to correct, 
But in my opinion, and the best use for me is as a concealer. Because I like for my skin to be more even, and at the moment, Jones Rose doesn't have a product for that. Right now, I use the Tower 28 Sunny Days Foundation Sunscreen as my base, and then I put the face pencil on top of that. The face cream was just too heavy for me. <laughs> I felt like I was putting on Vaseline and then topping it with more Vaseline when I used the Miracle Bomb. I wish the face cream was a little more creamy and less balmy. <laughs> and maybe came in different shades and acted like a tinted moisturizer. I don't know, but I am just not the right person for that product. I honestly thought that the face cream was gonna be more like the Bobbi Brown face cream primers in the Bobbi Brown line, and it just wasn't. And so I think because I was maybe expecting it to be more like that product, I was disappointed with this product. I was really hoping the eyeliner would be my best friend. <laughs> and initially, the shade application was really nice. There's the brown. And there's the black. I feel like the black, when it was on my eyelids, was way more opaque. It ended up being almost more gray like that. And the brown, too, it's like way more opaque than I was expecting. I wanted it and all the reviews I saw, it was like real dark like that on people. And maybe I just don't know how to apply eyeliner properly, but it doesn't last. And I don't think my eyelids are really oily, but maybe they are. <laughs> I do have hooded eyes, so that could be a factor, but it lasts on my lids like an hour and then it dissolves into my skin. And I was so sad because I really wanted this eyeliner to work and it just didn't for me. And so many people loved this eyeliner and it just didn't work for me and I was so sad. Uh, I put it on before this video and it's already coming off. Sad. So what products do I still use and what did I return? I still use the Miracle Bombs on different occasions. My favorite colors are Dusty Rose, Flushed, and sun kissed. I used the sun kissed for a bronzer and the dusty rose for like a highlighter and the flushed for blush. But it's rare that I use them all at the same time because of the consistency on my face. It's just too heavy. I also kept the face pencil in shade number two for a quick concealer, but I returned everything else. So my overall opinion for these products, Bobby please don't hate me, is they are unique and just okay. Maybe my expectations were too high and I was thinking this was going to be a miracle product, hence the name Miracle Bomb, but it just wasn't that for me. My face does have larger pores and the texture of the Miracle Bomb, I feel like kind of enhances that. And I think if you're someone with a naturally even skin tone and a smooth skin texture, you probably would actually love these products. And as I've had them as an option in my makeup kit, I do gravitate towards the Dusty Rose the most, which is a little surprising, and the Face Pencil second. I do use the Sun Kiss Miracle Balm on days where I'm just using like a tinted sunscreen. Um, I feel like it does add a little bit of color and helps me feel like awake. <laughs> like I was able to spend some time in the sun yesterday. Overall, I'm not sure I will be buying these products again, but I'm pretty sure I'll have them until I'm 60 because a lot of product comes in one little miracle bomb. And now I have four. <laughs> I still do wanna try the mascara and probably will in the future. Unfortunately, they've been out of stock and it's really hard for me to spend more than $12 on my mascara, but if it comes in stock, I will probably try it. Do I still love Bobby and her philosophy about beauty and makeup? Absolutely. <laughs> and I think if you're like me and won't believe me until you try it, just order some products. I will say that their customer service was fantastic and I was able to return all of the items with no issues. Do you have any questions that I didn't answer about these products? Make sure to drop a comment. I try really hard to get to all the comments. <laughs> Here is my Instagram. If you wanna connect with me during the week, don't forget to subscribe and like on your way out. Here, <clears throat> or two more videos you can watch. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.